What was your take on the Uh He just had problems uh, struggling with his command tonight, you know. Um, he just was fighting himself, and uh, he just couldn't, just couldn't dial in that rhythm. Uh, but uh, through all of that, uh, he only gave up three hits and one run. If he would have ever found it, it would have been one heck of a ball game. Was it one of these instances where you thought you may have responded a little bit better? Well, I think he tried to respond as well as he could. You know, he tried to go deep inside and tried to get it done, but it just wasn't there tonight. So, um, But once again, through all of that, he only gave up three hits in one run, so if he would ever found it, it would have been one hell of a ball game. So the big, I mean, getting Shafe on the 3-1 pitch, that fly to left, that was, that was a, that was a big key for him. That was big yeah, well, for it. the base is loaded there. Yeah, 3-1. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, he, he found a way to wiggle out of some stuff. But once again, it all comes down. He just didn't command the baseball, and he couldn't find it. You know, he just couldn't find the rhythm that he needed. It's happened to him twice this month. How does he... Just keep working, Jeff. Just keep working. That's all you do. I wish there was a formula, and I wish there was a secret, and I wish there was things that we could just say to make it happen, but it doesn't work like that. Just got to keep taking the baseball as long as you're healthy, keep going out there working, and um, pretty soon things usually work for you if you give it the effort. What did you think of your bullpen tonight? Outstanding. We needed our Robbie to come in and do what he did, get us to the back of the bullpen. Uh, we certainly needed Koji to come in. You know, he's been working hard and doing a good job, and then tonight he got an opportunity in a winning situation to come in and, and do some good stuff for us in the eighth inning. He did, and then Joe, uh, for the fourth day, um, showed that uh, he certainly has a resilient arm. Uh, his velocity was good. They fought for those at-bats late, and uh, just put some pitches on him. Yeah. Watch. Uh, we kind of know what tone you take with Derek when you go out there when he has walkage. What about with Fuller? What's your approach with him? Well, I was positive, very positive, but I also gave him some of my choice words. I can't repeat it, but I was positive with him. He certainly didn't need to hear anyone beating him up. When he's out there battling and fighting. Um, so I just tried to give him, uplift him a little bit. But along with uplifting, of course, it was some choice words. Can't repeat them. Nothing about dinner reservations. Well, that was involved. <laughs> and when he answered me, he said Italian. <laughs> Nathan's shown you pitching four straight days. This guy was he showed me the professional that he is. He showed me the great teammate that he is. He showed me that uh, he will do whatever he have to do to make things happen uh, for his team. And um, we certainly appreciate what he's done because we called on him way beyond the call of duty the past few days. Did you talk to him today before the game? Yeah, join BP. He said he feel fine, he felt great. But, uh, is there was there any kind of consideration after, even after he tells you, you feel that he feels great, as to whether or not you want to go to him for a fourth consecutive day? There wasn't any today. We'll ask him tomorrow. Right, but I mean, there wasn't any today. You guys were completely okay. Brought him in, and I brought him in with no hesitation. What movie is he going to go watch tomorrow night? Who? Nathan. Um, you I, don't, send him I don't know. you got to ask him if what movie he's going to watch. You send him to the movie tomorrow? I think I'll make sure he's in that bullpen uh, for his leadership, but uh, I don't think you'll see him out there tomorrow. So, are, are, you, is, are there no longer any concerns about the health of his arm and nope. all that stuff? I've, I've never had concerns about his arm. Uh, honestly, um, you know, even in the beginning of the year when things didn't go right, I never had any doubt about Joe Nathan. He has too much heart to be worried about something like that. In the ninth, did they, well, excuse me, the eighth, did they announce Moreland before they made yes. the pitching? They did announce? Yeah. Okay, I, I wasn't sure if they did. Yeah, they did. That's what I would, well, why'd you come out just to say, well, what's up with this change? Yeah. Okay. But they announced it. Okay. All right. Thank you.
Uh, once before the game, he said tonight might be the night that uh, Michael Young breaks out of his slump. And my fortune teller, what? <laughs> what do you think of his night? He had a good night. Made great contact. Okay. Marsha, you didn't have a plan to use uh, Adams tonight? No. No. Okay. It was all coaching. Okay. So he got a chance to get into one of those situations that he's been dying for. 